Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do a picture in picture like this using ScreenFlow. One of my students, Jeff, asked how to do this and I am happy to show you. So let's get straight to it with ScreenFlow. This is going to be how you do it, similar to uh, Camtasia. I'm also going to be showing how to do it with Adobe Premiere Pro in another tutorial, so check that out on the YouTube channel. So basically, what you need to do is record your video first. So in ScreenFlow, you record your video, so I can say record video, record audio. So there I am, you can see me in my webcam, and you would go up to configure recording to see this dialog box. Then you would record. So this is going to prepare to record. So you can use this however you want to bring in your video, whether it's a webcam through ScreenFlow or you're recording with your own camera outside of ScreenFlow, it doesn't matter as long as you import the video of yourself that you want to be picture in picture. So once you're done, we're going to stop this recording. We're going to add it to this ScreenFlow property or project. So you can see here that I did this already, but I'm going to show you from scratch how to do it. So if I drag and drop this new video down here, you can see that this is the video we want. I don't want this background of the desktop screen recording, so I'm just going to delete that. So what we're going to do is just click Add Annotations Clip. With this selected, we're going to drag in a rectangle, make sure that it covers the entire screen, so we can resize this, and then change the color to white like so. Okay, then we're going to drag this underneath our video of ourself. And what we can do now is resize our video just by clicking and dragging, holding shift down to lock the aspect ratio, or you can go over to the video properties and change the scale over here. And then just move it to wherever we want it. I'm assuming that you want it in the lower corner, you can also put it in the middle, wherever you want. Now we have to add our text. So go over to text, click add text box. We're going to add bullet points, but the thing with ScreenFlow is that it doesn't have bullet points as an option. So we have to add bullet points manually. On a Mac, the keyboard shortcut for adding a bullet point is option or alt eight. So option or alt eight, you see that as a bullet point, and then we just write down our bullet point one. Then we can just copy and paste that, and we can change it, change whatever the text is, okay? Then we want to make sure that this is black text, so over here in the text properties, we wanna change the solid color to from white to black, and then uncheck this backdrop, because we don't want that. And we can resize the text, say we want it bigger because uh, we have a lot of room here, so say we want it super big, we can do it something like this. But if you're writing out sentences, it's typically going to be a lot smaller. And then just play around with it. Maybe you want picture in picture this way, maybe you want it in the corner, like so. You can add a, another text box if you want to um, add a title, for example. So let's add text box. We will change this text to title of slide. Again, change the color to black, get rid of the backdrop, change the size, maybe make it bold, and then move it up to the top of the slide. So that's like super huge. We probably don't want that. And something like that. And then that's how, and then just, of course, extend the text however long you want it to play. And then if you want, we can add transitions, so we can right click this, add a starting and ending transition so it fades on and off. And if we want, we can just copy and paste that text, add it to a new spot in the video, and then say we have new text. So this would be our second set of bullet points. So maybe it goes from the first bullet points to the second bullet points. You can just keep copying and pasting this template that we've created with the text box and then export from there. But that's pretty much how you create a picture in picture with a white backdrop and bullet points. 
Jeff, I hope I answered your questions and anyone else who's watching this, I hope this answered any questions you had. If you do have more questions, please leave a comment below or shoot me a message over at videoschoolonline.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in another tutorial. Hey YouTube, you like that video? Well, please subscribe to the channel for more. Check out our website for articles, webinars, books, and more. And of course, check out our online course library, ranging on topics from video making, motion graphics, photography, starting a business, freelancing, to beer brewing, resume writing, adopting a cat, and much more.